What's going on everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to mine Pyron. If you're unfamiliar with Pyron, this is another fork of Caspa, and it's looking like the profitability is pretty darn good over the past 24 hour average. Now, if you look at the current network condition, the hash rate has been picking up. The price has kind of been coming down. I think it's actually coming back up a little bit, but the profitability is a lot lower than the past 24 hours. Regardless, it is the most profitable coin to still have your GPUs pointed to. Now, today's video is brought to you by Hero Miners, and Hero Miners actually just opened up a Pyron pool, so now we don't have to use a lot of those pools which are having a lot of disconnect issues and everything before. So everything should be fixed now. We have a nice, legit pool to mine Pyron to. Now, the first thing you are going to need is a wallet. Now, there's two ways to go about this. One, if you plan on just selling your coin in the first place and you don't want to deal with CLI wallets, then just go into either Trade Ogre or the non-KYC exchange here, make an account, get your deposit address, and then just mine to the exchange and then sell your coins daily or something. Step number one, it is never recommended to mine to an exchange. You never know if you're gonna be wallet maintenance mode, just like Trade Ogre has been in Caspa forever, like three or four months. You're never gonna get any of your Caspa out of there. So that could happen when you do mine to these exchanges or hold coins in exchanges. Never recommend to do that, but if you plan on selling it, it's a nice, easy way to get started. Now, if you wanna run the CLI wallet, which is the recommended way to run any crypto mining wallet is on your own, so you don't have any funds at an exchange, but because these newer coins, we always like to treat as some type of scam, you always wanna be very careful. Do not put this on a computer or a laptop or anything where you may have sensitive information. So use a node box, which is another mini PC or a virtual machine, something else other than your main PC so it's isolated. That way, if it has like a virus or something in it, you will most likely be safe depending on how bad that virus actually is. So now we're gonna set up the CLI wallet and show you how to get that done. If you saw my Carlson how-to, it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so once you download and extract the wallet, I just simply made a folder on my desktop, extracted it to that, and now I navigated to it, and this is where we are. So what I'm gonna do is first step here, I'm gonna right click here and open in a terminal. So this is now pointed to everything within this folder. Now I also have a little cheat sheet here. I will link this down in the description if you wanna read through it and stuff, but it has all the commands you pretty much need. So initially we're gonna have to run this piratepad.exe UTXO index, just like what we did with the Carlson wallet, that will begin starting your daemon. And then we're gonna have to create our wallet and do all the steps here. But all the commands are in this sheet here and I will have that link for you guys down in the description. All right, so you have two commands that you can use to navigate through your wallet. One is ls, which you can see it shows all your files and the folders that you're in, or you can just use Windows command directory and that does the exact same thing here. So two ways you can kind of see where you are to navigate to where you need to be. So moving forward here, I am making a slow cheat sheet as I move forward here. So I'm gonna copy this command. This is my first one to start the daemon. So I'm not running this as an administrator. So I do have to put a period backslash and then the piratepad.exe and then space and then dash dash utxo index so i'm simply going to copy this command and as i go through everything i'm going to keep adding commands here that way it is a lot faster to do in the future when i come back instead of typing everything so now i'm simply going to right click here it'll paste that in here and this should start our daemon so hit that and there we can see so we are connecting to the network the daemon and everything so now i'm simply going to open up a new file here, or I guess a new tab. And now we gotta navigate back to our desktop where our Pyron folder is, cause we gotta create our wallet and everything. So this is running in the background right now. And then all the other tabs are gonna connect to that. And then we're gonna make our wallet address and run our wallet daemon and check balances and all sorts of other fun stuff. So now we gotta navigate. So I'm gonna go LS here right quick. And you can see, I gotta go to my desktop. Make sure you do know where you extracted everything. You don't necessarily go exactly where I'm going. It depends where you did extract your files to. So now I'm gonna go from desktop to LS again. You can see Pyron, that's that folder I did make. So I'm gonna go into here and simply type Pyron 
and now I am exactly where the first tab was. So now I'm gonna run another command to create our wallet. All right, so now I'm gonna create my wallet. We can see that we got the period backslash here, pyronwallet.exe. So we're doing all our commands within the Pyron wallet now, not the Pyropad, which was our actual initial daemon. And now I'm simply gonna go space create, and this should create our wallet here. So we're gonna hit enter. Now it's asking for a password for the key file. So I'm just gonna put in a quick password here, guys. One, two, three three, four, five, six. Yes, that legitly just use one to six. I'm gonna hit enter, confirm password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously don't use that password, use something else. Now you can see our extended public key of monomic number one. So we can see that's our public key and everything. And it's saying everything like we did see with Carlson. So what we wanna do here now is start the wallet daemon and then we're gonna create a brand new wallet address. Okay, so now I opened up another tab here and then I navigated to where we gotta be. We're running commands now through the wallet.exe and I'm putting in the start daemon command. So I'm gonna hit enter here and now it's kind of connecting to our node. So what's going on is our wallet daemon is connecting to our main blockchain node daemon and they're talking back and forth to each other to kind of synchronize all the transactions between the two. And now we can do all the commands we need to our normal wallet, like get a new wallet address, check balances, send coins, receive coins, and so on. So now let's move on to actually getting our wallet address. All right, so I'm back in where we should be under yet another new tab here. I'm gonna copy in the new address command. So we're still using pyronwallet.exe, new address this time, and it should give us a new address. So here we can see new address is Pyron. This is our wallet address now. So I'm simply gonna copy this address like so, then right click, that'll copy it. Now I'm just gonna put it down here, paste. And this is the address we are going to mine to to receive our rewards. And I'm gonna email this to my main PC and then I'm simply gonna use that in order to mine to it. Now personally, right, so myself, I'm using Trade Ogre to mine, so I'm actually not gonna use this, but this is how you would get your wallet address to your own node for Pyron. So you do have your wallet address and everything, but you don't yet have your secret seed phrase. So you are actually gonna to have to run this command right here to actually see your seed phrase. So we're gonna right click, we just copied that. I'm gonna go back into this page. You could probably do it from any one of these windows because you're still talking to the same file here. So I'm just gonna paste that in, but I do gotta make sure I put the period backslash in front of it, so period backslash here. And now I'm simply gonna run that and it should pop up our seed phrase. This operation will print your unencrypted keys on the screen. Anyone that sees this information will be able to steal your funds. Are you sure you wanna proceed? Yes, here you go guys. Free funds for you all. So we gotta enter our password. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, awesome secure password there. And here is my seed phrase for you guys all to take. I'm just kidding guys, um, I'm not gonna be mining this. This is for video purposes only, but that is how you get your seed phrase. Now you can back up your wallet to other locations. If you lose your password, you could probably just restore your wallet and set up a new password by using the seed phrase, but make sure you get your seed phrase before you close everything out and all this stuff and mess things up. So that's how you get your seed phrase. That's how you get your wallet address. Everything is good to go. Let's show you how to mine this coin now. All right, guys, so we're gonna be starting off in Windows and the first thing we need here is an actual miner. And I'm gonna be using the RTX 4090 in this case. That's what's in my workstation. So NVIDIA, I'm gonna go with Regal Miner version 1.11. We click on here, we can see Pyron hash algorithm was added. All right, so once you do get that extracted, simply scroll down to you see PYI. So we're gonna click on that, right click and hit the edit button. That will bring us up to our config parameters here and now we got to adjust everything we need to adjust so beside the U here this is where you're actually gonna put your Pyron wallet address for me I'm just using a trade ogre wallet address because I don't know what this coin is gonna do I don't know how what the future is in store for it we'll just kind of let things go and if it does a pump maybe I'll sell or I'll just lose a few dollars a day in the process and it ends up being nothing I have no idea we have no idea what this coin could do here but we do have to adjust our pool to hero miners here as I was using e4 before before, and it's been pretty sketchy in terms of connection issues. So coming into Hero Miners right here, I'm gonna use North American West USA. So I'm simply gonna copy this right here, right click, copy, bring up my bat file here, and I'm simply gonna change this out right here 
into hero miner so just paste that in right there move on over slash w here this is where i'm going to put your worker name this is rabid ws in this case and that is it that's all you got to do here now if you want to change different flight sheets around like here's how to mine on whatever this other thing is you simply remove the semicolons right there and put it back in and what that means is it's going to eliminate this file here and run this one that's not what we want we're mining the hero miner so i'm getting rid of those by default it's just fine just adjust the ones in the front but i just kind of wanted to point that out in case some of you guys were curious why there's two here and why one's not running and so on so that's what it is you got to get rid of those semicolons there and then just put it wherever ones you want it to run so this is the bat file we're going to use up here we are mining to hero miners with my trade ogre wallet address right here and right here is my worker name so i'm simply going to file and save that now i'm not going to run my miner yet i gotta run my overclock settings so what i'm going to do is when it comes to windows and nvidia gpus i run lol miner and use their lol miner gui so i'm simply going to right click on this run this as an administrator hit yes and we should see something like this. So I'm actually going to click off GPU one. That's my integrated graphics. I'm going to lock my core. I'm going to be setting a core offset and locking my memory. So memory is about 810 here. Offset, I'm running 300. And for my core, I'm going to run 2400 on the core lock. And I'm going to apply the OCs. There we go. I'm going to close that out. Now, if I bring up Afterburner, we should see everything set. So we can see 2400, 810 megahertz set on the memory here. I'm going to minimize this. So I am now going back into my Regal Miner here. And I'm going to run the PYI that we just ran. I'm going to double click on that. So we should be up and running to Hero Miners now in Windows with the 4090 utilizing Regal Miner. So here we can see we already got an accepted share. Now to check everything at the pool, scroll down to your stats and payment history, simply paste in your wallet address, look it up and it's already detected. So that was pretty fast here. You know, it's pretty much instantly detected at the pool. Hero Miners is pretty fast. And now we can see we're sending shares. We can start to see our hash rate over time. We'll see how well we're hashing. This 4090 is a beast. It does do about 19.8 giga hash on the Pyron network. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at Hive OS, and I just fired up my OctaMiner 1 for this very reason. So now we're gonna jump into our wallets because we gotta add our in our wallets. So we're gonna click on wallets here, and then we're gonna hit add wallet. I don't think it's added by default, so we're just gonna type P-Y-R-I-N, and we're gonna click on this. Paste your wallet address into here, whatever it is, and then name it whatever you want. In my case, you know, I am using Trade Ogre for this. And then we're just gonna hit the create button. Once you're done there, we're gonna come out and go into flight sheets. Once you're in your flight sheets, this is where all the magic happens. And this is like setting your bat file in Windows. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna type on coin and I'm gonna type in Pyran and it should be there from you just creating it. Click on that, select wallet, Trade Ogre, pool there's no pools in by default so we are going to configure that in the miner and then for this because they're all nvidia again we're going to go with regal miner the latest version is in hive os so if you don't have it make sure you update your hive os to the latest version click on that and then name your flight sheet so i'm going to go test video in this case and now we're going to go to setup miner config and this is where everything's going to happen here so we're going to go to pyron hash py it popped up wallet template we're going to go wallet here worker name i'm going to put it here and then pool url so for pool url it's simple we go back into hero miners here i'm going to copy us west choose the closest stratum to you right click copy and i'm simply going to paste that in right there and we're pretty much done so now we're going to set some overclock settings for all these gpus i already have some preset settings here based on carlson so i'm going to copy and paste them in so there are all my settings so as you can see i got my core clock this stands for your lock offset so i'm offsetting every single gpu by 300 now if you're not sure how this all works each one this will be gpu zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven or in this case you know it's there's 12 gpus in here but the first number is always zero when you're looking in your dashboard now here you can see i'm locking my core depending on the gpu some are at 1605 some are 1680 1605 1680 majority of the nvidia's are 1680 for the 3060 ti's and 3070s and the a2000s i have locked at only 605 mem is locked at 810 on every single gpu and then i got various power limit settings set for each gpu 
GPU, more of like a safety feature. You don't really need to set a power limit if you are locking a core because it's already setting a certain power limit for a certain core clock that is locked. But you can do this if you try want to try to reduce the power a little bit and do a little better tweaking or if you just want that safety feature in case an overclock setting doesn't tend to apply. So now I'm going to apply those changes here. We are going to create that flight sheet under test video. I'm just going to scroll back up here now I'm going to go back into my workers. The Octominer is right here. And you can see here the GPUs that I was mentioning earlier, GPU 0 through 11, and the overclock settings per each one. So now I'm just going to go into my flight sheets here. I'm going to scroll down. Here you can see Pyron test video. I'm going to send that flight sheet to the moon. And just so we can see our overclock settings and everything, I am going to kind of... Uh, hive shell start into this rig so you can see everything applying. All right, our hive shell is loading up. I'm simply going to type in minor right quick. Hopefully, I didn't miss it all. And oh, I might have missed it all. No, there it is. See, it's locking all our core and memory, all the overclock settings are setting. We're at hero miners and we are now gaining hash rate to hero miners on Pyron. And our rig is already detected. So there we go. That is Windows as well as Hive OS, how to get up and running, set up your wallet, use a Trade Ogre or Exchange Wallet, whatever you do decide for Mining Pyron. But the, hopefully this guide does get you up and running in Windows and Hive OS, mining to hero miners on the Pyron coin. Thank you for checking out this video. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.